Uh, how does the new replay work from at the gear five? And at the gear five, this is exactly why we have this guy here to tell you all about the new replay stuff. Oh, that's what we're talking about. Uh oh, oh. no, 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 we're talking about the other thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, no, this is great. Uh, are we gonna show him some stuff? Yeah, we actually why have not? a pretty awesome video that we will pull up in just a bit. Okay. But I, can I mean, I want you to tell me a little about a little bit. what went into putting this together because it's been a very long asked for feature. And it's finally coming, so this is pretty exciting. It's really cool, uh, and there are a, a lot of people. Oh, great! Yeah, uh, there are a lot of people behind the scenes who have put in a ton of effort on this. So certainly, don't give me all the credit on this. <laughs> it was all him. Um, I'll take credit for the problems. How about that? <laughs> um, but yeah, so it, it's been a long time coming. It's something we wanted to do for a really long time, uh, and it's a combination of things. So uh, we we've been using the the term replay a fair bit but it's a combination of both being able to do replays of the match that you just played mm -hmm. and being able to record and or stream your play, uh, whether it's a replay of the match or not. Right. Uh, and it's, together, it's really powerful. Oh, yeah. Um, it's absolutely fantastic. We will evolve, and there are things that I'm sure we'll need to adapt once pe people play with it, and we'll see what's working great and what isn't. Um, but I think even out of the gate, it's kind of amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, All right. So we do have a little bit of video right here that we can show you. And I want you to walk us through this a little bit because there's just so much cool stuff here. Yeah, so uh, starting off here, we're taking a look at a replay. Uh, so this is a match replay. At the end of the match, on the score screen, there's a button that you'll be able to hit that will just queue up a replay of that match. Uh, and it does all sorts of cool things. Like here, we're talking about being able to move the camera around. You can bounce between all the heroes. You have vision for both sides. So it's a really great way to analyze and take a look at what's going on. Um, we also have a timeline that's annotated. Uh, so you hit a little button in the bottom center of the screen, and it pulls up this control. You have a full playhead, and it's showing like allies and enemies deaths with little triangles, and it's showing uh, turrets. It also shows captures, so it'll show gold mine and kraken, uh, and the eventual vein crystal, obviously. Tapping on any of those will just jump the time right to that spot in the match. Uh, I guess you're seeing some fast forward in here. So you can change time. You can play. You have control over you time. Have control over time. <laughs> um, the coolest is actually slowing down time, uh, mm. which is now what you're gonna get to take a look at. But it's really cool to take a really analytical look. A, a, it looks kind of awesome. But e even just a side of the look, I, I can imagine just competitive teams practicing mm. and being able to really take a look at why didn't that work? Oh, I missed one of the stars on Celeste Alt. Um, or uh, if only I had turned around with Jewel at that last minute, maybe that would have been enough extra shielding to survive that blast. You know, there's uh, some more careful analysis than they've ever been able to, to do before. Yeah, it's very, very exciting to be able to do this because there are so many times in a game where I just make a mistake and I don't know why I exactly I lost, but I would love to be able to check back and be like, okay, this is exactly what went wrong. Absolutely. Yeah. Introspection is really important. So here we're talking about recording. Um, so th there's a button in the upper left. It's a little clacker like you see in the movies. Um, and you tap that, and uh, if you, you, know, you have to say yes to some OS permissions for both Android and iOS. Um, and it'll pull up a set of controls uh, that can expand and collapse. You can drag it around uh, to get it out of your way. Um, and uh, yeah, zoom in and out. And it's a really, really powerful tool for recording. Um, <laughs> it's really cool to be able to just see all these different changes. There's just all view. sorts of things. It's really cool. Um, As someone who makes videos, uh, obviously I do the weekly recaps for, for the Evil 8. This is pretty exciting to me because I can now add some like cinematics in potentially. Absolutely, right? yeah. And, and so once you've found the clip uh, that you like, you know, you've stopped recording and then you can trim it down, you know, get rid of the excess, really focus in on that one cool shot that you wanted to be able to post. Saves it to your device. Uh, then you can take that uh, that clip, throw it up to whatever social network of your choice to to show off, um, or just send to your buddies if you're doing uh, analysis and trying to just improve your game. What format does it save the clip in? That's a really terrific question. I don't actually know. Ah. Uh, my I guess is guess .mov. Is, yeah, that would okay. be my guess as well. On the Android side, my guess would be an MP4, but mm -hmm. uh, I don't know definitively. Both of those work for me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, <laughs> basically something that you can use. It will exactly. be something you can use. All right, awesome. so there's like a ton of exciting stuff in here. I, I'm excited. <laughs> yep. Um, so one other piece of this is 
Uh, this is only available uh, to the most recent iOS updates uh, and some more contemporary uh, iOS <laughs> devices. Oh, it's Shen! But you it's can Shen. <laughs> Hello, Shen. Um, but you can stream directly from the device. So there, we have a couple different points for you to call this up. One is we've added a little clacker button in the profile. The other is that you saw on the match replay. Um, and uh, it, depending on how people use it, we'll be able to, uh, you know, might add more access over time. Uh, but yeah, so now you can hit that stream pump it up to, to Mob Crush or, or what have you, and uh, it's another additional tool at your disposal mm -hmm. if you're trying to get content out there. I think for content creators, it's it's been a little difficult. Mm -hmm. Like They've had to jump through a lot of yeah, it's hard. content for Vainglory, mm -hmm. and this should be a pretty big change. Uh, this should make it so that A, we'll have more content creators, mm -hmm. and B, the content creators we have right now who are incredible yeah. have just more at their disposal. Yeah. So it'll just be a little bit easier for them. Hopefully, we'll see a, a big surge and, and really cool stuff to check out. I am really looking forward to the tools that are going to allow us to analyze things better, right? Yeah. Because as someone in the competitive scene, what I want to see is teams like pushing forwards and constantly challenging you know, the meta and their own play yeah. and being able to slow stuff down and like watch it a few times and make sure you know what, you know what happened from, from also different perspectives, right? Mm -hmm. So like not just yeah. from whatever the, the cameraman during Evil 8 is looking at, but also from their perspective. That's awesome. I mean, that's a really big feature. I don't think that can be understated at all. I think there's another interesting side of this too is, you know, if you're the solo queue, right? Like I, I know I jump in solo queue all the time mm -hmm. and you, you finish a match and you're trying to figure out like, how did they get that gold lead? Or like, how did they manage that position in the lane so well? Uh, you know, now you can go back and deconstruct what they did mm -hmm. and try to figure out like, oh, so that's how they played that Lyra or that's how they were able to get that farm so fast even with an early game crawl. Like it, before, how would you know, yep, right? That's um, true. Unless someone happened to post something on the subreddit or on the forum, or they just happened to tell you, there's just no tool at your disposal to try to deconstruct that previous match. I think th you know this puts a lot of the power in your hands, right? Like this is if you want to be analytical with your own gameplay, you can do that. If you want to show off the cool plays that you're already making, you can do that too. Yeah. It's it's a flexible tool that I think everyone in our community can make use of. Yeah, I think one of the great things about it is also. If you want to show off to friends, you had like this the greatest game of your life. You can't really show anyone right now, which is a I little know. bit sad, it's right? It's so infuriating. <laughs> like, no one believes that I don't know how to Yeah, I was like, I went 25 and no. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. This is exactly how I got 25 and no. Exactly. exactly. That's what I want to see. Like, I want to see those recordings. Those are going to be fantastic. Me too. Now it's going to be instead of like, you know, pics or it didn't happen, it's going to be video or it didn't happen. Yep, exactly. <laughs>